Hey guys, it's Matthew here again, and I'm now going to do another video. <clears throat> I've done this video the last three years straight, going back to, uh, actually two years straight, going back to 2014. And that was when I found out that a certain someone is almost identical birthdays as me. And you probably know who I'm talking about, so I probably don't have to say it, but I'll say it anyway. I was wanting to uh, send out some uh, special uh, birthday wishes to my most favorite news anchor of all time, Yunji Denise of KITV4, my local uh, ABC News affiliate, otherwise known as KITV Island News as of this past November. She isn't in tonight, but... Uh, but, you know, to be perfectly honest, I could care less. I've actually just kind of not really been thinking about that. It's just kind of like one of those things where, like, it's just like a roll of the dice for me. But last night, hey, I could take it any day I can because I could watch her. I could watch her every day if I wanted to, and I am, because it's my most favorite network, KITV, because it's entertainment. Come on. Robert K. Collar is responsible for that. I can tell you that much. But anyway, yeah, I just want to say to Yanji, happy birthday. I did see her uh, slip of story tonight. Otherwise, otherwise, you would probably know it best as flip flops. But here in Hawaii, we call it slippers. I know I wore on myself, so I should know. But I think one of the most memorable stories that I have from her recently has got to be her Where You Live piece on Kailua and I was really really fortunate to meet her back in 2014 in October and I am hoping to do it again at least meet her again even though I had a chance but I kind of let that one slide because I had no business because I kind of didn't really have no business out there but uh Eh, it's no big deal. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll get another chance and maybe I'll run into her again. But I am wanting to say happy birthday to her. I know that she likes these and I feel like, you know, I should do it because she's my most favorite news anchor of all time, of course. And I will say, though, that I did not really care much for 10 o'clock news back then, but now I do. Because I'm starting to get to an age where i got to keep up with the world. And I think seeing her on the news has just made me rethink my career path. Still not 100% certain on it, but I am getting closer to it. In fact, I kind of already am close to it. I just haven't gotten around to making some calls yet, but I'll do it eventually. But, uh... I would like to meet her again, and um, I am hoping that she likes what came to the newsroom for her today, even though she wasn't in, but I am sure that she will like it because I did it last year. Because if you know me by now, if I want to do something nice for someone, especially someone like Yanji, I'll do it. I don't care what people say. I kind of live by the movie. I kind of live by the... Just like the movie The Natural, Robert Duvall was speaking about ref or whatever he wants to do, he does. Quote David Bailey, former Supercross analyst. And once again, I want to say to Yanji, happy birthday. Some of you might know her because she was, she also did interview President Obama back in 2011. And um, other than Yanji, I would like to meet to meet uh well I almost got to meet Pamela Young but uh, I would like to meet Larry Amata who's on in the mornings but so far Yanji and Robert Kikala are the only two people I've met so far and maybe Pamela Young to some extent I almost got to meet Ashley Moser last year but she's not with KITV anymore now she's at a new station in Utah unfortunately it just hearing about everybody leaving, Andrew Pereira, Ann Sterling, now Ashley Moser, keeps breaking my heart to tell you the truth. And I'm hoping that she doesn't leave, Yunji I'm talking about, or even Paula Akana. Those two would really be heartbreakers for me. Along with Moani Kiala Nabarro. 
But anyways, I just wanted to say, Yanji, happy birthday. And I am hoping to run into you again. I was hoping the same thing last year, but never really got out. And I know that we did kind of communicate a bit on Facebook and I think on Twitter as well. But uh, I know one particular time when she got through to me was when I had lost my grandpa on August 10th. And I would gotten a message from her and I didn't quite expect it. But, you know, but I'm glad I got some condolences. I know my grandma said that it saved her about an hour's worth of phone calls that time. But uh, we do keep her, but we do keep him, uh, keep him uh, as a in a shrine, right next to where my grandma sits. So, anyways, Yanji, happy birthday! I hope you have plenty more to come, and I am looking forward to what you, and I am looking forward to what you say to me over what you see at the newsroom that's there for you, that's there waiting for you. And if you remember what happened last year, when he told me Kenny, Kenny Choi was pretty envious, you probably might figure it out by now. But anyway, assuming you remember, of course. But anyway, Yanji, happy birthday. I would like, I would consider you a great friend, I, and I still do. And I am hoping to meet you again someday, run into you at least. But we'll see what happens, so... I just wanted to get this out because I knew that if I didn't do this, I would not live it down. And, uh, like I said, I'm glad I got to meet you and Kent. And, uh, hope he's doing well, too. And I wanted to say happy birthday. And I hope you stay at KITV for a good long time. Because you are one of the reasons why I watch. Paula is another... Even reports from Lari Amata, too. Hell, everybody keeps me watching because it's entertainment. But I still think that the one that they sh the one thing that they should have shown was you doing the Ice Bucket Challenge when Robert Kakaula took the challenge in 2014 and called you and, you and Jemai Webster out. That was the most funniest thing I'd seen. And I would have paid money money to see it but anyway I hope that you have a good birthday I hope you had a great one too and I would like to see you again and I hope to do and I hope to as well so once again happy birthday and I will see you guys back when I return to my log of videos so for now happy birthday Yunji and I'm going to be look and I'll still be watching KITV any day I can, especially when basketball season is done. And it's, and it is almost done because there's only three more games counting tomorrow, February 13th. So, happy birthday, Yunji. And, and I'll see you guys for watching. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video.